Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, June 26th. Uh, the garden's in full swing. Been having something to harvest just about every day. We had a pretty good harvest a couple days ago. Uh, I tried to film it, but there's no sound, but I'll try to throw in a little clip of uh, the few things we got. The, some green beans, squash, zucchini, uh, and tomatoes, and a few peppers. But yeah, like I said, uh, pretty much every day we've got a few things to harvest. There's today is no exception. We've got some things that are ready to go, and I'm gonna take you along with me while I go ahead and harvest. So let's go over here, and we'll start over here at the raised beds, and go from there. All right, we're back over here by the raised beds, and there's several uh, tomatoes ready to be harvested here. Let me go ahead and get started on that. Uh, I see right there that one's been getting eaten on a little bit. Got a little hole in the side. This one right here is not fully ripe, but it's on. It's close enough. And this one's had some eating on it too. We look like we've got a bug issue over here. So that's got some bad spot right there with something ate on it. Still plenty of tomato there I can eat. Actually, all of these have got something going on with them right here. Hopefully that don't turn out to be a big issue for us. Let's see how this one looks. All right, that one, yeah, a little hole right there. So we, we, we've got insect pressure over here. Pretty much all of these are blemished by insects in some manner. That one right there is looking the best. Uh, this one is. I think it's pretty good. Go ahead and get it. Now the plants themselves are looking a little rough. Uh, that's to be expected. You know, I actually won't here for like a week, so they didn't get watered good that week, and then we would had some insect pressure as you can see on some of these so these next few have been good i'm gonna go ahead and get all these that are blushing because uh since we're having insect pressure we need to go ahead and get them out before the bugs get them that's what we're gonna do we may end up pulling these plants out and putting something new in here as rough as they're looking I have to think about that over the next couple of days, but we have gotten quite a few tomatoes off of them and uh, not many beans of one, enough for one meal. So I guess that was all right. Let's see here. We haven't gotten a good one of these here aftershock yet, but that one right there don't have any blemishes. It's not big. But it's kind of a variegated green and red tomato. Nice looking tomato. And uh, the one I did get, it had a little bit of blossom in right, but I was able to eat, eat it, parts that were good. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple of these. Well, that's looking pretty good. Now here's an interest, something interesting. That is a yellow pear tomato laying in the bed here. But it didn't come off any of these plants. Something carried this over here. So that's got me a little concerned that we got kind of squirrels or something getting in here, getting on our tomatoes. But so far, a couple of those got some damage, but most of them are good. I think them over there got a little bit of damage, and the rest of these are good. Uh, yep. Yeah. All the rest of these over here are good. So them four had some damage. Let's go ahead and move over to this other bed. I'll get you resituated a little closer to me so you can see it. Finally starting to get some of these geranium kista ripen, it looks like. They're not fully ripe, but we're going to 
I said, if it's blushing, we're going to try to get it before the bugs get it. There's that one. Plant's got a lot of tomatoes on it. It's still looking pretty good here at the top, too, so I think it'll keep producing for us. Um, what else we got in here? Yeah, see, these over here don't seem to have look as rough. At least the tomatoes don't. The plants ain't looking great. Uh, see some new growth coming out, so they may end up coming back and giving us a few more tomatoes. But like I said, probably pull them out. Try to plant something else in here. We got plenty of tomatoes in, in the bed over there to go with all these. So. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to get these ugly ones out of here so we don't have them mixed up with the others. And then we'll let's see what's good and what's not. So that one ain't got no marks on it. That one does. I know there was one more in here that had something on it. That one right there has got a single little tiny hole right there. I think I'm going to keep it though. Them three I think I'll give to the chickens. And here's our little micro dwarf cherry tomatoes. And ain't looking too great right now. Still see a little new growth coming on some of them that don't look bad, but the existing older growth is in bad shape. But that's going to be about it for the raise. See, this one right here has got a little blemish at the bottom. I'm going to give that to the chickens too. They'll enjoy it. So... Yep, that's about it for the raised beds. Let's go over here and see if there's any tomatoes available in the main garden over here, in the main uh, tomato patch. Let's just see what we can get from there. This is what we got out of here. Pretty crowded up here in the tomato patch, but I definitely see some tomatoes available for us. I'm going to go ahead and reach in here. A couple floor dades. They're ready to go. While I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of little cherry tomatoes that I see that are ready to go. Well, here's what I've gotten out of there so far. Like I said, you ain't gonna be able to see me that well. I may need to just pause it and grab all the tomatoes out of this part and come back to you. Well, it's uh, pretty tight up in here. Well, I can't really move around with the camera and pick the tomatoes at the same time. All right, so there's the cherry and pear tomatoes I was able to get out of the tomato hedge here let's go around and see what kind of slicers we can get over here you squeeze down here beside these uh squash see what i get nice looking tomatoes in here not a lot of them ready to be picked yet, but there's some. That one's blushing. That one's ripe, pretty much. There's five tomatoes right there I just got. Nice little handful. 
Nope. And I'll squeeze down through here again. If there's anything else I see ready to go. Yeah, these things aren't trellised as well as they should be. But that's all right. We're still getting tons of tomatoes. Yeah. I don't see any more that's ripe down here. We need to come in here and prune this stuff. All right, well, I think that's all for the tomatoes for now, but I see several of them over here. That, yeah. <clears throat> Next couple of days we'll be getting. So let me come back down there where y'all are at. Yeah. We're going to look at some squash now. Let's see. As far as this yellow crookneck squash. There's only a couple of them in here look like they're ready. This one. That actually might be the only one that's ready right now. And so there's one close over there, but we're going to wait. One closer right here. And like I said a little bit earlier, I think we had like 12 come out of here. That one's not fertilized. There's one only. There's a yellow crookneck. I think we got a dark green zucchini over here that's ready for us. Uh, where is it at? <laughs> All right, so it's going to be our second dark green zucchini. Nice. Got a couple more that ain't quite ready yet in here. And we got this golden zucchini right here. It looks like we got at least one ready here. Let's see what this one looks like. Two together. That's crazy. I'll bring it over there. Show it to you a little closer here in a second. Make sure there ain't nothing else that I need to get from here. Yeah, I don't see anything else, but this is actually supposed to be two, but they're fused together. So this is a Gold Rush zucchini, but it's connected. And then here's a dark brain zucchini. So that's looking pretty good. I think... Uh, well, I see a cherry tomato I'm going to get from over there from a volunteer. <clears throat> as far as things we're harvesting from back here, I think that's about it. A couple more cherry tomatoes over here in this little container I'll go ahead and grab just to get them. I ain't even on the camera most of this, but that's all right. Just got a couple more cherry tomatoes to add to the bucket. And uh, got one more place to go. We're going to go grab some onions. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get these onions that are right here beside us. These are little tiny onions. Didn't do a lot, but they are edible. Yeah. They're like nice, solid little onion pearls, I guess you'd call them. Trim off some of the onion roots. We already harvested a bunch of these from here. Uh, we're past the solstice, and I think that's, that's all we're going to get out of any of these as far as the growth. They need to come out of here before they start rotting on us. Just need a little bit of onion and something. These will work great. Uh, let's see. Is there any more? I think there's one more right there.
Need to put these in the bigger harvest basket so we can really see what we got. But here's the little small onions I just pulled up. A little solid dots of onion. Uh, so let's move around to the last place. We got some onions growing up front with our. Uh, We've got some onions growing up front with our strawberries, so we're going to move up there and get them, and then I guess that'll be it for the harvest. All right, so here we are at our onions, and these actually are some nice looking onions growing with, a, with our strawberries. And I mean, they ain't the hugest onions, but they ain't as tiny as those ones we saw over there. So what I'm going to do is pull them up just enough. Yeah, that one came all the way, so I'm going to cut them roots off and leave them behind. A little bit better onion than the ones we had in the back. And like, again, it's not huge, but it, it's, it's an onion. And these are the Granix 33 onions, and what I can say about them is they bulbed up nicely even when they were small ones didn't matter about that got a, so there's four of them in here the last one pretty looking onions let's see if there's any ripe strawberries yeah there's one Another one, right there. And that one right there is looking a little rough on that one side. There's the onions. Okay, so that's. This is today's harvest. Not too shabby. Zucchini. Golden zucchini. Yellow squash. Some onions. Cherry tomatoes. Slicers. And actually even a couple of cherry bomb hot peppers. Or time bomb cherry peppers is what they are. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe, and share, and enjoy your day.